whatever. So I was like, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, and I'll give you the like uh, the YouTube channel information and okay, yeah, definitely. You definitely. know, definitely everything. Cool, yeah. Follow up stuff. Got so, it. um, so you're from England. What's your name? Yes, my name's Jesse. Jesse, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Yeah, man. welcome to the states. Thank you. How long have you been here? I've actually been here twenty years now. So oh, okay, yeah. so it's not. Well, <laughs> right. You're still welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So my question: What do you think happens after we die? And love to hear your story. Or you know what? what? Um, with my ex-wife. Um, she's uh, from a very, uh, she's from a born again Christian family, so, um, so they have... A, Probably from she, the States. Yes, always <laughs> from the States, yes. So, um, in England we have the Church of England, um, yes. obviously, but we have, um, the family I grew up in, my mom and dad are very much, um, they grew up during the hippie area, uh -huh. era, so it's like, so it's, so they have like their more like don't really believe in any kind of like they don't really believe in any kind of religion that kind of thing so it's yeah like, the atheist you know like that kind of thing. um i i honestly i believe there's something happens yeah. to us after we die but i'm not sure what yeah. and the reason i come to that conclusion is like sometimes you know like i'm not sure if there's a heaven and hell right and who gets to be where and that kind of thing like I don't know if I really believe that good people or not even good people but just people that are believers uh, believe that Christ is coming back to to save them and take them to heaven yeah I'm not sure if that is the case or if it's just somebody who is you know good people and bad people you know? it's yeah like, it's kind of like it's kind of a, a you, you're talking about it's a pretty sharp edge right there when you're saying like okay good people go here bad people go here. right yeah people believe go here people who don't believe go here. because uh some of the best people are yeah. not perfect exactly. and some of the worst people are exactly and that's the good thing most of the time probably exactly <laughs> you know and everybody we're all humans unfortunately yeah. we make mistakes yeah. so it's kind of like one of those things that's like i'm not really sure exactly i kind of think somewhere along the lines like go somewhere but i'm more inclined to go to like more like the that you come back as another human being like you're reborn reincarnation again yeah okay. but not as like because some people think like in, as another animal or something right like i think that honestly like that the human life cycle kind of just keeps continuing on type thing yeah now not necessarily that you remember who you are or whatever but or who you were before and you know that shapes how who you are yeah in, in the next sort of but I don't believe that it's just like something that once you're done, you're done. Right. You know, it's like that's it. That's nothing. So, kind of a logical question: uh -huh. if, if you can't remember who you are, right? Like you don't remember a past life or anything. No, no. Are you that same person? Like, <laughs> no, I, mean? I no. I'm pretty sure you're, no, you know. I wouldn't say that. So it's, yeah, so of, it's course. Like, of course. Of so course. Like, uh, yeah. So, 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 do you see a connection between? you and the former life or the next life um and and i don't know if i see I, maybe like you know how like some people get like they get you know sometimes you feel like Man, i think i've been here somewhere before or i felt this way so like that kind the of you know vu. like a little deja vu type thing like right. maybe that could be something linked with that that's okay. the only a logical yeah. explanation but obviously i don't think that you know you'd be like and, okay and, and it sounds like you've reached your conclusion not necessarily because you're say hindu mm -hmm. but because well because they don't it's not just limited to people right right right, right. but more like as a logical like right Rejection, more like a rejection of heaven and hell and yes and more like, like a okay, logical scientific kind of you know like yeah it's like how what? things you know like it's kind of like that because i think to believe i mean i do believe in like spirituality and the fact that you know like you know i i pray and obviously i you know and uh Can I, I ask I, who you pray to to Jesus, the God, mm -hmm. the Creator. Yeah, okay. uh, I, I I consider myself Christian. I do, okay. honestly, even though obviously that part of it, you know, and I think that a lot of times, um, because of the interpretations of the Bible and what people see, every every individual gets different interpretations of. It. That's why you have preachers, ministers, vicars, whoever. Um, they have different sermons maybe on the same 
same scripture or whatever. So, yeah. But in obviously, so they get certain, you know, they get certain interpretations or certain, um, you know, they, different perspective, right? Or different whatever. perspective, and just mm -hmm. like or or God gives them something yeah. to speak on on that particular passage, yeah. that particular scripture, and you know, it, it's in you know, I think that it's very individual on that, and I think that relationship for me with, in, in relationship with God is that when you have that it's more of on an individual basis yeah you know instead of like the whole church thing you know like so that. so you definitely believe in God and mm -hmm. a God that you can have a relationship yes, with yes yes so it's not just like a, a power or no no force be with no, you kind no. of thing right or, right 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 um yeah. and uh so when you can pray to do you uh it would it, so, and you're saying it would be the God of the Bible, but but right? Yes. Or yeah. And I, I I honestly believe that I do believe that Jesus died on the on the cross for our yeah. sins, and and it took Him to do that to save us. Yeah. And I, I truly believe that that by His blood we are cleansed, and it's like, and I get that, and it's um, but it's like the whole after we pass on this earth, it's kind of un, it's kind of hard for me to believe in. Or I don't know if I really, you know, the whole concept of there being a spiritual place where our spiritual bodies go to either yeah. a higher place or a lower place. Yeah. And, you know, and the whole heaven, hell, bad and good, that kind of, you know, right. devil. And you're going to be with Jesus and God, but, you, you know, you can't, you know, but some people what, are going to be your, with uh, the devil. Was your first exposure to Christianity... Your in the U.S. Wife? Yes, yes, in the U.S. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty involved in a church then. Yes. With her. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, I was very. Um, her her church is, um, or her family's former church. It was. Uh, she goes to non-denominational now. But, yeah. Um, she went. It was a uh, Kojic, so it's a church, church of God, of God. Christ, okay. and Christ. Okay. God in Christ, and it, they're very. That's what it was. Now it's. Not an denomination. Yeah, now she goes to no. Now it still is there, but she doesn't go to her family's church anymore. Which she is goes. Kojic. Yes. Oh, okay. She goes to a not the. Yeah, and they're little, more uh, like uh, Pentecostal, right? Yes, yeah. they're very. Um, more emotionally driven. Yes, yes, very yeah. much so. It's it's for me. It's uh, yeah. It's it's like a. It's it's very different. I, I, I go to from, a non-denominational church. Okay, right? got you. just around the corner, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like it's more biblically driven mm -hmm. as far as like our, our purpose for gathering is to hear the word right preached. it's not to have necessarily a, an emotional experience right right spiritual Doesn't, experience right I mean, exactly I, and I, I think that like that the out, whole but no I yeah I, that's what I'm saying I think that there's obviously there's something with that and it obviously is a belief that um, that you get movement through the spirit and into your body and, and you have those ex experiences but I think that, like you said, that with a non-denominational church is more about the word and learning from the word, yeah. and you know, and trying to put that into practice in our everyday lives. Yeah. Because the problem is, is a lot of churches, and I see a lot of church people, or as far as like with Catholic, any kind of religion, yeah. Catholics, Muslims, doesn't you know, like, and when I grew up in my, you know, with my parents, yeah. we were always taught to be like, hey, whatever anybody wants to believe in, whatever they want to do. It's up to them what they want to do. So yeah. if they believe in that, then they believe in that. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. You know, and it, as long as it's like you know, um, people don't try to force what they believe in on yeah. you. Yeah. And that's yeah. where it's like, okay, you can have a conversation about it. Right. We can talk about it. That's what I'm trying to get across. Exactly. And, and that's I, what and we I, are. To be honest, I mean, I am a Christian, and I would love everyone to be a Christian. Right. I, I'm, of course. You know, I'm, of course. Why would I want to keep that? I mean, if it's that important to me, why would I, why would I keep that from anyone else? Exactly. Right? Exactly. So, right. but at the same and there's time, nothing I know, wrong with that. I know people Obviously. make their own decisions. <laughs> right. And, and you know, and I think that, especially in America, just from my experience with Americans in general, is mm -hmm. that. Um, it can be a little confrontational sometimes when it doesn't even have to. Mm -hmm. Like some people can just be like, "Hey, um, you know, let me just talk to you about this," and, and you're like, "Oh no, I don't believe in that." And he's like, "Okay, yeah. I can we just talk about it before right. you just shut it down? You don't have to shut it down so quick." Yeah. It's like you know, there's always explanations, and there's and everybody has their own view on what they feel. Yeah, and nobody's, you know, if you believe in that, then that's fine. You're you're right in your belief. There's no reason why I'm not going to tell you that right. you have to do what I. Right. Or how I think of things, and you know, yeah. it's, but it's 
it is very much like that. Now let me ask you, um, you, you saying you, you believe in the idea that you know we we need Jesus, he died for our sins, mm -hmm. right? Right. He saves us. What do you think salvation means? Or he saves us from what, you know? So, um, so like if there's if it's I get, like okay, a, so a I, 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 I okay, I see where you're going with that. So like, <laughs> no, I get I know I get that, but yeah. I'm saying I like did. for the Honestly, that's a tough question because you can't. You kind of now you're kind of contradicting what I said about everything else as far as like when you die and where you go. Yeah, and then I would ask like, what, what does what does a person two thousand years ago dying on a cross have to do with with that too? So it's kind of all goes right, right together. Right, you right, know? right. <laughs> well, yeah, I think in honestly, that's a tough one. On I think that went back thousands of years ago in different times obviously 50 years ago in every country is different from what it is today yeah. and I think that as you as we progress as a as a as a human race I think that we understand things and we change and we adapt yeah and I think that things like religion and different religions in the, the Bible and that obviously have stayed the same yeah. and it's just stayed the same concept but obviously as humans and cultures and different things like that, obviously we have changed and evolved and adapted. Yeah. And I think that... Um, and sometimes language changes, but... Exactly. So I don't know if, like, that term... Exactly. Is. And I've always believed, okay, so when I first was with... When I was with, first got married to my ex, and went through the whole thing, it's like, see, cursing words or swear words over here are a lot different from what we would consider swear yeah. words. Like, we say, we say damn all the time, and it's like... Is I and they were like, oh, you can't say that in church. I'm like, it's, I'm not. I, the thing about it is, is, I get that it's, you know, like when you, if you damn somebody to hell or like you, it's, it's. It's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing, right? Exactly. <laughs> but when I'm just saying, oh damn, it's right. like okay, that to me is not swearing or cursing or right. anything bad, yeah. because obviously from my culture and that's where it is. Yeah. Now obviously the other ones and, that, and also it's like I also feel that as as we as, it, as we are continuing in this on this journey as humans I think that we make up what is bad and what's good in our own things uh -huh. so like a, a certain word so morality next kind of week changes. right exactly and it does yeah. because nowadays let's be honest like you see some of the stuff and you're like wow that would never have happened yeah you know 20, 30 years ago I was like Jesus right now it's okay it's cool to do that you know it's like yeah okay and it's like okay you know and obviously as you get older and then you see your children and you see younger people and the way they're open or free to certain things and you'd be like, wow, that, that would have never happened. You know, not that right. I'm old, but I'm just saying, like, it, it, I see it even now at 38 and it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, so, um, so, so Jesus died for our sins. Mm -hmm. He died to save us. Um, but from what? So, yeah, saying, from what? and and uh, and and so you're, so so the the idea. What what is it about? I guess have so. I'm just trying to like put together what I've heard from you so far. So mm -hmm. the whole idea of heaven and hell, you're saying, is too black and white. Yes. Because it's like it's so extreme. Right. Like you got one extreme to yeah. the other, and it's like okay. Yeah. I'm actually a high school teacher. Okay. And, okay. And uh, to me, I often think in terms of you know like a grade scale. Obviously. Okay. Uh -huh. And you know like if you make the grade, if you're 60 percent, you got a D. Right. You know, and and it's, so it's like, what's the difference between someone who's 59.9? Exactly. So exactly. there has to be like a cutoff, but we know no one's perfect. I'm pretty sure you would agree right. with that. Right. Well, I do. We also know. You know, as far as we can tell, no one's perfectly bad. Right. right? Exactly. And right. So everyone's on this kind of like this scale. Right. Exactly. And, and so it's like this idea of wow. I mean, eternity is at stake. Right. right. Over what's the cutoff? Right. Right. Yeah. Well, for my my opinion on that, then would be that I honestly don't think that there's like you said on that scale that I think that Jesus died so that we can all go to heaven or go to a better place yeah you know all our spirits or whatever whatever is left of us after we we pass that would go to a better place yeah and there is really nothing really bad after that you yeah know, I, I just don't think that that's because like you said where is the cutoff on that and who makes i mean obviously god says okay 
well, I'm sorry, you're half a point too low on this. <laughs> sorry, see you later. Right. That's like, okay, well, that's, right. you know, because like you said, even bad people or people that are generally horrible people or whatever, most of their life, I'm pretty sure they got some good, you know, I'm sure they, you know, there's obviously some horrible people. I mean, I've, in, this I've, world, in these but. conversations, I've talked to people that have killed someone before. Okay, okay. And it's like, or gangbangers who, you know, like shot into a, right. shot down the street. They don't know if they've right, killed anyone. Right, they like, somebody, right. And, uh, and so, and they seem like nice guys. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> when I'm talking to them. But they did bad them. stuff. <laughs> you know? And I think so, that everybody's like that, you know, like some yeah. people are, you know, like, I'm sure you've made mistakes in your life. I've made mistakes. Yeah. I know, that, you know, maybe not so, we're not talking about like murder or something like that, but like, right. we've made mistakes as far as like, with relationships, with yeah. you know, children, whatever, like we made mistakes that you know maybe not be like so horrific, but yeah, they're one, not th good. one thing I like to do is, is say like the mistakes now. It's not just a math mistake. It's not like an error, right? Right, right. right. It's more like a moral choice that we make. Yes. We know we're doing something wrong, and yes. yet yes. we do it anyway. We're right, you right. know, old-fashioned right. word sinning. You right, know? exactly, exactly. Um, so, exactly. and I've always so, been one like, hey, you know what? As much as nobody likes dealing with the consequences of their actions, but yeah. you you do get that, you know, yeah. just because of how you react to things or you you know what you want to do. Yeah. If you do what you do, then this could happen. Yeah. You know, that's one smart. one thing I I think is important because I'm hearing you say like it's depending on your your good your level of goodness or badness. Is, mm -hmm. You know, and 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 well, actually you don't from. believe in this, but you but this is why you don't believe in mm -hmm. this. It's too it's too extreme right right, right. Um, but at the same time a person needs to believe in Jesus that's important too right you know um, one one thing I think if you think in terms of our relationship with God right um, do you have say a right relationship with God in other words um, being a sinner you know you've broken God's laws mm -hmm. in various ways throughout your life. Right. You and me both, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Can we, could we stand before God on Judgment Day and, you know, I mean, if it exists, you yes, know, in the yes. Bible, mm -hmm. Jesus was right, pretty clear, mm -hmm. how would we be judged? Would you be a good person before, before God? What would he say, you know? I would hope so. I yeah. mean, I would hope so. And I would feel that But you know you're not perfect. You ask, right. So. But if you ask for forgiveness, you know, you can be forgiven for, yeah. for things. So, so the so maybe, and and this is what I believe, mm -hmm. the what determines if a person's going to be with God in heaven, and I think in terms of relationships. So it's it's not necessarily okay. I don't know the details about heaven. Mm -hmm. I know they use a lot of earthly language to explain right. something that is totally beyond our comprehension. Right, right, right. So it's a very good place. And I, and I would say what makes it good is we're in God's presence, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're in a right relationship with, with God. Hell would be a very, very bad place, like right. the fire, you know. Right, right, right. Where they have to describe it. Yeah, whether that's literal or, but um, it's a very bad place and we're, and, and we're in a wrong relationship with God. In other words, we are experiencing His wrath, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, what, would, what would determine the difference? Being the sinners that we are, um, uh, I'm gonna move down a little bit. Oh, we can't. I'm gonna get distracted. <laughs> I'm I'm real bad at like multitasking. People are talking in the background. I'm just like. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> um. So anyway, like we're not we're. It's not, if it wasn't based on, are you good enough? Mm -hmm. Like, do you make the grade? Are you over 60% or mm -hmm. whatever? But more, are you forgiven? Right. You know? Right. So like, so And like, I think that, I know that, you know, that the Bible obviously talks about certain things that happened um, in some of the stories in there. And I know it's like, you know, the wrath of God, but I honestly, I don't think on an individual basis, I don't think that that an individual can be truly that I don't think, I think God's love would 
because we are his children. So yeah. the fact that we are his children is creation. So I don't think that we would ha get to a point where he will not forgive us. And he will be like, no, I'm going to cast you aside and you're going to deal with this for eternity. I don't think that that's... Yeah, that's I don't think that right. It's hard to that's, imagine. Right, it's hard to imagine because it's like, if he is love and he loves us like a child, you would never do that to your children. Yeah. You would never be like, you know, you know what, sorry. Yeah. You're going to have to face the wrath forever now. Yeah. I don't think so. Now, do you read the Bible much? Um, I don't as much as I, I should. I would know. like to encourage you to revisit it, mm -hmm. you know? It doesn't present people, all people, as God's children. Mm -hmm. It presents us all as created in His image. Okay. And, and for that reason, I believe all people should be given the utmost in dignity and mm -hmm. respect. Of course. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not because I consider them a brother or sister as a as a as a Christian okay. kind of thing. And so when the Bible's talking about God's children, it's referring to people who have come into the family of Christ gotcha, gotcha. through okay. faith. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like New Testament referring to, you know, brother and sister, things like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So so when I when I say not everyone is God's child, that doesn't mean everyone shouldn't be respected. You know? Right, right, right. So, um, so what is it that brings a person into God's family? The, the number one, what brought us out of it? What, why wouldn't we be God's child? And that would be our sin. Mm -hmm. You know, right. The right. fact that we're, we've broken, like originally Adam and Eve. <laughs> right. But right. but coming on down the line, generation after generation, we all have this. This sense of right and wrong, mm -hmm. a conscience, moral right, compass, right. and we, and yet we all break it. So we're all right, in rebellion right. against God, and God, God is love, mm -hmm. but God is very just also. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, like there's a lot of attributes about God, and His love is one of them. But His goodness, I, I I'm looking at His goodness as being overall. He's good in every way, which means He would also believe in justice. Okay. Okay. And so the justice part, you know, requires mm -hmm. that there has to be a punishment for sin. You know, yeah. it's, if someone was brought before a, a judge in a court of law and found guilty of a crime, and the judge just said, okay, you, you killed that old lady, but, you know, here, pay this $100 fine and you're free to go, that wouldn't be justice. Right, 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 right. You know? Like that's, yeah, I, I, you know, when you say that, it's kind of extreme, but... So, um, you know, so I think what I want to do is just, in a nutshell, mm -hmm tell you kind of my take on the hell thing okay heaven and hell and um you take it for what it's worth okay right that you don't have to agree with me but just i want to make sure you understand where okay. i'm coming from okay. okay because um yeah it's a big issue i mean right, it affects right. our whole worldview really mm -hmm. of course so so my take on it and i believe it's biblical mm -hmm. is that um and i'll make it quick gotcha, <laughs> gotcha, yeah. uh is that so god has his attributes, his love, and his justice, and many other attributes, right? Mm -hmm. But those are two that 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 could actually be in conflict because if God is going to treat us sinner, sinful people with love, He's just going to let us all go to heaven, right? Right. right. And that would be like perfect love. But if He treats us with perfect justice, we would all go to hell because we've right. all broken His law. Right. Right. And it wouldn't be, you know, you go to hell for a hundred years, but not a hundred and one because because we've sinned against God, and so the so the, the the just punishment wouldn't have limits, because God's worthiness and glory has no limits. Mm -hmm. That's um, you know um, like if I you know even in human justice, we, our understanding is if you kick a dog, you might get a fine from the humane society. Right, 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 right. If you punch a person, you might get put in jail. If you if you punch the president. Right. You might go for a couple years. Right, right, exactly. Right. What would be the punishment if you if you offend God somehow? You right, know? right, I got you. A hundred years but not a hundred and one? You right. know, no. Right, God is right. Infinitely right. worthy. So right. so that's the so so most religions and and actually a lot of people's understanding of Christianity is that somehow your good can outweigh your bad. Mm -hmm. And so God is kind of compromising on his is justice because you can kind of like do some things to kind of get your way out of it. Gotcha, right? gotcha. Mm -hmm. But the things we do are limited, you know? But the, the crimes against God are would, would deserve mm -hmm. an unlimited. And at the same time, his love would be kind of compromised because, well, he doesn't just let you into heaven automatically. you got to right. do some things. Right, you got to right, pay a right, price. Right, you right, know? Right. 
And so it's like God is like halfway loving and halfway just, but God isn't a halfway God, you know? Right, right, right. And so his attributes would be perfect in every way. Well, how can he be both loving and just at the same time? Right. right and in right. Romans it says um, he is, so it says he's just and the one who justifies. Mm. So in other words, his justice is perfect. Um, there is a punishment for, for sin, but instead of hell, he's also the one who justifies. He came down, took the form of his son, paid the price for us. Mm -hmm. So it would be perfectly just because there is a, there is a sacrifice being made on our behalf right. that is infinitely worthy. It couldn't have just been a person dying for us, because right. number one, most people are, well, all people are sinful, so we right, all. Right, right. But even if it was like, you know, like different cults believe Jesus is not Son of God, they believe mm. like the Jehovah's Witnesses believe he's just an angel. Right, whatever. right. But right. if it's a created being, it would kind of be the same as like the Old Testament sacrificing a sheep or a goat. Right, right. Uh, right. And it's just mm -hmm. a temporary right. payment for. Right our eternal sin it's just it doesn't right, 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 so so jesus has to be the son of god has to be you know equal with god but but he took human form and became like us and and so 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 it's ultimate justice like complete justice but also complete love because it was a the perfect sacrifice and mm -hmm. and, it, and it cost god you know the pearl of great price i mean it's you right, can't right. put a limit on jesus worth you right, know right 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 so at the same time, God is loving and just and, and, and doing it in a perfect way. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I, I feel like, I feel like heaven and hell, well, number one, more than anyone else in the Bible, far more, Jesus talked about heaven and hell. And he actually talked, he warned people about hell more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. So I take it real seriously, just for that reason. That's what, you know, like, like I read through, and, and this is why I say revisit the Bible. Mm. I read through the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and wrote down, you know, what did Jesus, like, uh, instances of what he said about heaven mm -hmm. and hell, and I kind of compared the two and, and saw all the different, like, I just paid attention to it. I didn't just focus, like, like look up one word right, on right, you know, right, concordance right. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But... Um, but Jesus took it real serious, and so I, I thought, wow, yeah, I need to take it seriously too. And then, and then the minute I start thinking, well, why is the punishment so serious? Um, I start, you know, you start realizing, but look at what God was willing to do, right, right. to mm -hmm. avoid it, to yeah. allow us to avoid it. So, um, so it's like. I don't know. I feel like it's the greatest love story I've ever heard. Yeah, <laughs> it's free. And I like to. Yeah. I like to be in conversation about it. Yeah. That's you know. Good. That's good. Yeah. So, so I, I don't know. If, can I can I challenge you to revisit the Bible? I will. And kind I of look will. At you it know, I will, I'll take a look at it. And yeah, I will. I will revisit that and see what. Yeah. Has it been a while since? Yeah. You really it's been read a it? yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been Seriously? a while. Seriously. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So. So I know you got your. Yes, I'm about to, yeah, because we got to get okay. to this concert. Here's so. the. Here's the uh, link to my website. You can see lots of different people's answers. Okay. And yeah, I'm uh, actually very interested. Okay, thank you. What else can I give you? I think that's... Yeah, that's probably... Okay. Yeah. You got it. So, thank you. All right, Jesse. Nice meeting you. R real good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you um, if you heard the conversation much or no. I have um, this is a camera and uh, I have a. Uh